This video is part four of the project to create an Etch-a-Sketch game in Scratch. Last time you learned that the pen down block makes the sprite draw on the stage. And you also saw how to create a green flag event handler to initialize the stage and the sprite. In this exercise we will use the paint editor to change the sprite. The sprite you see when you create a new Scratch project is a cartoon cat. You can have fun animating this character, but it doesn't really work for an Etch-a-Sketch game, so let's change it into something much simpler. Make sure that the sprite is selected and click on the Costumes tab. In Scratch, the word Costume is a way to say what the sprite looks like. In this case, the sprite has two costumes with legs in different positions. You can imagine how switching from one costume to the other and back again could make it look like the sprite is running. For the Etch-a-Sketch game, we only need one costume, so let's delete costume 2 by using its delete button. Now click on the edit button for costume 1. The paint editor window appears. This is where you can change what the sprite looks like. There are tools for growing and shrinking the sprite, for rotating it and flipping it and there are tools for drawing lines and shapes and changing colours. We want to replace the sprite completely, so click on the Clear button. The sprite is removed and we are left with a blank canvas. Click on the Magnify button to zoom in until you reach maximum size. Another way is to click directly on this bar. Click on a colour in the palette. I am going to use the same colour I chose for the pen. Then select the rectangle tool. And draw a square that is 3 by 3 of these grid squares. Next, choose the Fill tool and use this fill pattern. Put the fill bucket in the centre of the square and click, which gives us a fuzzy circle. Now click OK to finish. And you can see that the sprite has the new costume we've given it. Now we can try the completed Etch-a-Sketch game. We'll click the green flag to make sure everything is initialised and use the arrows to move the sprite. Let's check that clicking the green flag gives us a new sketch. If you would like to take this game further, you could think about the following improvements. First, this diagonal line looks rather jagged. How would you make it smoother? Second, how would you change line width and colour in the middle of drawing a sketch? And finally, how would you stop drawing while you move the sprite and then start drawing again? This is something the original Etch-a-Sketch toy couldn't do.